What's up guys, the Apple device here. Sorry that I haven't made a video for a while, but today I'll be showing you how to save SHSH on 5.0, or iOS 5 is what people like to call it. So this will work on 5.0, 5.0.1, those are the two softwares out, and I'm sure this this will work, or, or the developer will make updates for next generations or next softwares to come out. So first off, I'll show you guys that I'm on 5.0.1. Right there. Sorry about that. Five point open one. Okay, and then what you want to do is plug in your device into your computer. This will work on iPhone four, iPhone three GS, and those are pretty much both both iPhones that can update. And it does not work on the iPhone four S. It works on, on the iPad 1, doesn't work on the iPad 2, iPod Touch 4G. So what you want to do is download this program right here. After you've downloaded it, go ahead, right click it, click run as administrator. I'll have the links down below to download it. Run, save. Once it, or run, sorry. Click OK. Wait for it. And what you want to do is click bump SHSH blobs. Proceed. Proceed. Uh, if you have an Apple TV, this will work too on Apple TV. Click yes. And then I'll click no because I don't have an Apple TV. You gotta turn off your device and follow all the steps that it shows you here. Once you're you want, once you've done these, or once I've done these, I'll meet you guys on the other side. Okay, so now it'll be up it'll be doing its work, the program. So this step will probably take about uh I'd say five, well, probably three-ish minutes. Once it's done this, uh, I'll go ahead and meet you guys on that other side. Okay, it's on the last step. Okay, now it's prompting you to save it. Make sure you save it because you'll need this. So you can downgrade to the software that it saved SHSH for. And it only saves the SHSH for the software your iDevice is on. So it doesn't save it for the up-to-date software. It saves it for the iDevice that, that, that you're on. So uh, if my device was on 5.0, it'll save it for 5.0, even though there's no 5.0 out to restore to, because I Apple doesn't let you. And then it'll let, later on, I'll be able to downgrade to 5.0. But since I have 5.0.1, it lets me downgrade or save SHSH 5.0.1, because that's the software I have on my device. So what you want to do is save it, make sure you save it, maybe email it to yourself, make sure you have this file. Because if something happens, you don't have it, then you won't be able to downgrade to the file you have, the SHSH form. Save. That's pretty much it. So guys, just to recap, this will only save the SHSH for the software that's running on your device. It won't save it for the up-to-date software, only the software that, that's on your device. So, okay, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll have a video out on how to downgrade iOS 5, so I'll have an annotation for that. So, I'll meet you guys in my next video.